going on the internet with Windows Vista and Netscape Navigator 9. With a fresh install of Windows Vista. So we need to update the time because um, otherwise we're going to get a million security notifications. Just date and time. Oh, we've got the wrong time zone. And I have to do this manually. It won't just um, do this automatically for me. Apparently not. o'clock exactly okay let's see if web pages work um, navigators telling us it's not gonna work it's a shame might have got ourselves stuck in a um, stuck in a loop there We've ended up on the AOL website, unfortunately. Okay, let's uh, close this. Oh, we're stuck. We're completely stuck in a loop. Let's try again. This again, trying to take us to AOL, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's see if we can go to Google. We've got Google. Um, Wikipedia. Continue. And it doesn't want to take us to Wikipedia. Let's try that uh, find frog. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> We've got a broken uh, search page on Yahoo. Okay. Frog find. Let's go for Internet Explorer. Go to Google. This is Internet Explorer 7. I think we've lost our internet connection. Okay, we're getting a lot of errors. Um, so I'm going to go away, update all of these browsers, update using legacy update and come back in a bit. We have got 745 megabytes of download Windows Vista Service Pack 2. That's a lot of downloading we need to do. Two hours later. We've installed Service Pack 2 and now we have 213 more updates to do. I've installed Netscape Navigator. Internet Explorer is up to version 9 now. I've got Mozilla Firefox, really old version and super Permium, which is the latest version. So things like YouTube work. Um, I'll just have a look at the Internet Explorer version. See what we get with this.
Internet Explorer 9. That might get updated again with some of these updates. Netscape Navigator is version 9 and doesn't work very well. So we've got security protocol problems with uh, Netscape, Mozilla Firefox. This is slower than it would normally be because it's downloading and uh, yeah, just downloading these updates. And Firefox is quite nice. I really like this user interface. You've got this restore previous setting sessions and really quick access to a lot of things. And um, the download page as well when you're downloading stuff. Uh, the download icon rather is quite nice. Wikipedia seems to work and it's pretty quick. This is the download bit. Um, and then Supermium will let us go onto modern websites uh, like YouTube. And eBay, for example. And I'm just looking at what uh, CPUs are available to upgrade this system. Um, BBC News. And you know it's relatively quick. Might even call it quite snappy and quite responsive, potentially. Let's try um, WebGL Aquarium. Using about 2.3 gigabytes at the moment and the system's got four gigabytes. This one looks good. Let's mute the adverts. So switching between uh, this size and full width doesn't take too long. Skip the advert and we'll jump to full screen. Now I'll see if I can get stats to come up. We're getting quite a lot of dropped uh, frames and our playback resolution is super low. So let's try 360p. It's not so great. Um, but we can um, come back 
when we've run a load of updates and see how it does when it's not also downloading updates. If you do have an old system um, and can't get Windows Update to work, then go to legacyupdate.net, install the software from there, and that will get the updates working again. Um, and if Windows Updates doesn't work, you can still use the legacyupdate.net website, get all the updates through there. Um, yeah it's it's really really useful so this is webgl aquarium um let's reduce the number of fish it's uh, pretty sluggish but like i say we'll come back when we're not updating everything give it another try but this is all working pretty well on the simpler websites with you know pictures content etc so I've installed about a million updates most of them successful um, some of them failed, got .NET Framework installed and Task Manager is showing we're using about a gigabyte of memory. The screen kind of has started flickering a bit every now and again and I don't know why. Um, and we've got SVC host using a whole heap of memory. Um, I don't know if that's because it's updating something still um, or if something else is going on. I've ended up with uh, Windows Defender and Microsoft Security Essentials. Both of these can't get updates anymore um, as far as I'm aware. But anyway, let's go on the internet and see what kind of experience we get. So Permium runs on Chrome, basically. Let me check my internet. Okay, we're back on the internet. I unplugged the USB Wi-Fi adapter and plugged it back in and reconnected to the network. And it says the big, uh, signal strength is very good. Um, this is a processor that could upgrade this uh, to quad core um, if we wanted to do that, as far as I'm aware, which should double the performance of the CPU in this um, for £8.39. It might be worth doing. Um, let's go to Wikipedia. And then, of course, the actual test of a PC these days is whether it can um, play back videos on YouTube and how quick YouTube actually is. And that's not too bad, actually. Um, let's click this. This looks good. <laughs> uh, the advert played quite quickly. Do we want some sound? I'll skip this. Um, let's see. So we're getting quite a lot of dropped frames. Um, it's playing back at 360p, so let's try 480 and full screen and see what we get. Every now and again it's dropping frames, but it's not too bad, I guess. Um, Reasonable internet connection speed here. Should try uh, 720. I 
actually seems to be doing better with 720 than um, 480. We've not got any dropped frames yet. Um, let's try 1080p. We're getting quite a lot of dropped frames here. So it looks like maybe the sweet spot is uh, 720p on this. But overall, this seems like a reasonable PC. Um, we can browse the internet with Supermium. We can watch YouTube. The only real sort of concern I would say is the lack of antivirus software on this PC. Um, there's quite a lot out there for Windows 7 that will still work, but trying to go back to Windows Vista is much more difficult. Um, I had a quick look, but I haven't found anything yet. Um, let's have a look. Uh, what the process is doing. So there's still a little bit of headroom there. And we've still got a bit of uh, memory. We haven't used up all the memory. Um, yeah, I would say that you can use Windows Vista on the internet. I wouldn't necessarily recommend logging into things and using passwords for sites. Um, but for just general browsing, this seems quite decent and it's just quite a neat little operating system it's like a sort of mix between Windows XP and Windows 7 halfway between and it's got some nice little oh look at that it's still playing the video in the um, in the little aero task browser it's still playing back there yeah, <laughs> that's quite impressive. So, thumbs up from me. Thanks for watching. Bye. While we've got this uh, over, over the screen, I'll just switch it over to um, 1080p and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we can see the um, CPU usage is jumping up to 100%. Um, at times so it's struggling a little bit with this